Hey everyone, welcome back. So I watched a little bit of my previous video and I guess I felt comfortable enough with it. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm generally camera shy, I generally don't like videos and pictures, um, but whatever, I just, I really like watching people's videos where they're facing the camera. I mean, I like both, but I don't know, I think a lot of people are doing that these days, facing the camera, so I was like, let me try it. So it's not too bad. So this is my second haul, filming this on the same day as my previous, so that's why I'm in the same clothes. This is from L3 Waxy Wonders, her most recent um, pop-up restock. So here is her quote. This is, act, I think there's a couple words missing. I think it's supposed to say, act as if you do, sorry, act as if what you do makes a difference. It does, by William James. Um, so I love her stickers. Um, I have, actually let me grab something real quick without knocking anything over. I keep, I keep um, a wax journal, a wax journal. I keep like a, a notebook with all my favorite, like by vendor. So all these little tabs are each of the vendors and I keep kind of like scents that I want to repurchase or even maybe general blends. Like if I melt a scent from a vendor and I really love the blend on cold, but then it didn't throw for me. I'll note that under like general blend, so I can try maybe look for that from another vendor or get it in a custom or something. Um, and then, or just stuff I want to repurchase from other vendors. But so I was keeping, putting a lot of her stickers in here, and then now um, I've been putting them on one of my wax bins, like on the front of the drawer, just because I love her stickers. They're fun. Okay, so she also sent a little. Zots, I had it upside down. Zots candy and grape. And then I have three samples. This is silver and gold. I do not have the scent descriptions for these samples. Um, this smells like bakery. I expected it based on the name to be like kind of a clean Christmassy type scent. It's bakery, but there's like a little bit of fruit or something in it. It's good. Blondie. Um, this has Blonde Moment in it. I smelled everything already. Yeah, it has Blonde Moment. I don't know if there's something else in it. But I like Blonde Moment. It's been, I, Blonde Moment was one of those scents that I loved it and then I burnt myself out on it. So I tend to not order it anymore, but that one smells good. All is Calm. And this is, there's two little pieces in here. Sweet Lavender, Twisted Peppermint, Mahogany Teakwood. There's a, like a little rat, isn't it? Her shapes are so cute. It's a little rat, oh, this smells good. Gosh, maybe I'm starting to like manly scent and a ghost, isn't that cute? That smells good. I think I like mahogany teakwood and blends. With the twisted peppermint and the sweet lavender, I think I might have to get more of this one. Mm, that smells really good. I hope it um, performs well. All right, so I got, this was a big order. Let me show you. Yeah, a big order. <laughs> so, because I have a problem. Um, I got a few, I don't remember, I think I did in one of my previous hauls. I did get a shampoo conditioner before. Um, I really like it. Um, I have a very sensitive scalp and so I have to use like this shampoo bar that's like oatmeal and something something like most shampoos bother my scalp um her i can use a regular like off the shelf shampoo like once or twice a week because i feel like that oatmeal bar just isn't very nourishing for my hair i don't know maybe it is oatmeal supposed to be good for you but so i have to use that most days and then i um can throw in like another brand once or twice a week, but I have to be careful not to overdo it because then I get really, I don't know, like I just get like really sore, like red spots on my scalp and then they flake and they get, it's disgusting. That, that's probably too much information. But, um, oh, there was a little gnat, sorry. But her stuff is pretty good, so I like it. And when you use the shampoo and conditioner together, it, it makes your hair amazing, like amazing. And these are like eight, eight something, I think eight bucks each. So I got one shampoo. This is in Rosemary Mint Boom Boom, which love her Rosemary Mint, love Boom Boom. 
Um, it comes in these bags, which is nice. They're really thick poly bags, so if there is any leakage, they won't go anywhere. The shampoo almost looks like water, I have to say. Huh, I'm gonna have to try that because the other one that I got, you guys probably can't tell, but the other shampoo that I got, can you guys see the bubbles moving? They move really fast, and I don't think you can see them. It was more gel-like. Oh, there is a seal too, so that's good. So that's probably why she doesn't. So there's that seal on here. I got two conditioners. So I got the Rosemary Mint Boom Boom conditioner as well. Has the seal. That's good. But there's, I got a second conditioner because conditioner I can use whatever brand because conditioner I only put it on the ends of my hair. So I can use whatever brand. Um, and I really like her conditioner. So I got two of them. So I tend to go through more conditioner than shampoo. But this one is avocado coconut boom boom type. But see how it has, it's wrapped with like the tape. So there must not be a seal on this one. And this is how my previous shampoo and conditioner came. But anyhow, um, I was gonna try and smell them. Let me see, I'll just, I'll take the wrap off the shampoo, the little seal off the shampoo. Oh yeah, that smells good. That smells good. I like it. But yeah, it's very liquidy. So I may try it. I don't I don't know. Um, <clears throat> if I have any issues with it working properly, I may reach out to them. I know they're really good about customer service stuff. I got a ton of her puppy packs. Like a ton. Because there was just so many scents I wanted to buy or try. I think I got like 14. <laughs> 14 puppy packs and there was even like two more that I wanted that I did not get because they because I forgot I totally spaced on the restock and I didn't get in until a couple hours later um so this first one is Hufflepuff and Hufflepuff is fresh baked cookies sweet cinnamon sugar and pumpkin pasties um so I have a Hufflepuff sampler but I really wanted to just smell Hufflepuff on its own so I knew kind of what it smelled like it smells so good yeah, you definitely get the cinnamon sugar. You get the sweet cookie bakery. That smells really good. There is something. There is something in this order that is giving some of these bags a bit of a skunky note. I opened this box last night and I sniffed through and several of my, what are these called? The puppy packs have a, almost like clamshells. You know some of the clamshells when you would open and they have a skunky note? Some of these smell that way, but I've never experienced that with L3 before. So I let it sit overnight in the hopes that the box would like air out, whatever, but I still am picking up it a little bit. I don't know if it's just one of the scents in here. Um, Cause when I smell each of the individual ones, they none of them smell skunky, like the scent themselves, but I don't know. So anyhow, but Hufflepuff smells really good. Nice, yummy, decadent cinnamon bakery. Um, the next one is Sparkling Snow, and this is Rosemary Mint and Peppermint. Love all the shapes she includes. I will share some of them. Like, And all of these are at least three ounces. They're three plus. I weighed most of mine. They're between 3.1 and 3.5. Like, look, a little fishy. Does that focus? <laughs> kind of okay. It's getting... I feel like my light's getting a little dim. Um yeah okay oh let me smell it now right yeah so good she has a strong peppermint i think i'm gonna need more of this rosemary mint peppermint it's like her peppermint is nose clearing and then her rosemary sweet rosemary sweet rosemary mint is sweet i got eight crazy nights which is blackberry jelly fried dough and a hint of campfire smoke and some of the shapes in here i don't know if you can see there's like a snowman, a Christmas candy. Um, so these are Christmas shapes, so cute. A stocking. Mm, this is so good. Definitely strong on like the sweet, juicy blackberry. I'm not really picking up the campfire smoke. Um, it, I'm just laughing because the, that skunky, you know, I smell it when I sniff the bag, but not when I sniff the wax. So I don't know. Does anyone else? I mean, I've never smelled this before with L3. I've ordered a lot. So is anyone else picking that up? Is it just my nose being crazy? Um, 
this is really good. It is like sweet, juicy blackberry and then like a yummy bakery undertone to it. I'm not picking up the campfire smoke right now, which is fine for me because I love marshmallow fireside and I love bonfire bliss, which are very creamy scents, um, but like smoke, I don't care for just smoke. Okay, this next one is Arctic Circle, which is Boogie Be Gone, which I don't, her Boogie Be Gone is like peppermint. It's like a mix of minty scents. Then um, for Arctic Circle, it's Boogie Be Gone with eucalyptus and toasted marshmallows. And then look at, again, all the cute little Christmas shapes in there. I know you can't see all of them behind the label, but you can kind of tell they're Christmassy shapes from the back. This is good. Um, her eucalyptus is good. It, it kind of has a little bit of that like Vicks vapor rub, but it's not overpowering. And I get a little bit of that toasted marshmallow. So the toasted marshmallow is holding its own in here. It's a good like kind of subdued minty sinus scent. This next one is Cranberry Woods Smoked Vanilla Peppermint Sugar Cookie Royale. And again, some cute Christmas shapes. This is good. I definitely get that peppermint. And I get the Sugar Cookie Royale, which is a very good decadent cookie. The Cranberry Woods, I'm not sure if I'm smelling Cranberry Woods. This is a cute shape, a little candy. Like I'm in the smoked vanilla, I get the smoked vanilla. I think I can get a little bit of the, the cranberry woods. I think it's just everything's really fighting against that peppermint. Her peppermint is strong, so um, that's good. This next one is Mac Apple Funnel Cake Caramel Cotton Candy. Again, such cute shapes. I love it. This one here has a reindeer face on it. Can you see that? It's probably kind of hard to see. I just don't want to take all the shapes out, but this is good. Oh, see another little stocking. Yeah, it smells kind of like a, um, it's Mac Apple Funnel Cake Caramel Cotton Candy. It's not overly caramely, which is good because I'm not, I don't, I don't like the ooey, ooey gooey heavy caramel scent. So that one's good. Cozy Fall Night, which is blackberry, cashmere cedar, sandalwood, and toasted mallow. And here are the shapes. So, I, I definitely get the cashmere cedar and the sandalwood. I'm not picking up much blackberry. Maybe a little bit of the toasted mallow. That's good. It's it's okay. I think I'm getting mostly cashmere cedar, which definitely has that cedary note to it. This next one is Cupcakes at Tiffany's Pumpkin Pecan Waffles. I love Cupcakes at Tiffany's. See some of the shapes in here. Look at this is, is this a camel or a, um, I got, I'm going to pull this shape out. It's one of those, what are those things that spit? Okay, well, I'm a little gingerbread man. So cute. Um, a round candy. I'm just gonna take these ones out. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do this for all the packs, but this one's cute. A Christmas light bulb. But I wanted to get down to this guy. It's um, an alpaca. No, what's the other word for it? A um. Oh, why can't I think of it? Anyhow, he has presents on his back. Isn't that cute? I don't think he's a camel because there's no hump. So it's an alpaca or there's another animal that's like them but okay so back to the scent this is really good um i get more of the pumpkin pecan waffles i actually wish the cupcakes at tiffany's would come out a little bit more i love cupcakes at tiffany's i'm not getting i get mostly just pumpkin pecan waffles in this one at least right now This is silver birch and vetiver and smoked vanilla. Again, the shapes are so cute. There's a candy cane in here. I know you're not gonna be able to see the whole thing, but can you see that candy cane? How cute it is with like a bow on it? The shapes are adorable. Okay. Yeah, I definitely get that silver birch, which is that white birch woodsy note. 
that's kind of what I feel like I'm getting the most. Um, it smells really good. I'm not sure if I'm getting any smoked vanilla. I like it. This is good. That is good. Very Christmassy. Strawberry zucchini bread. Okay, I had to pick this up because is it? It's Emily is her name. I can't remember her channel name. She's new to, to wax. I think most people nowadays are newer to wax that are making videos. Um, she raved about strawberry zucchini. And I mean, I've had, or sorry, yes, strawberry zucchini bread. And I know that um, <clears throat> Jennifer has the fresh pick strawberry, which I love. I like her zucchini bread. I think I have other blends with strawberry and zucchini bread in them, but maybe it has like strawberry pound cake and stuff. But I was like, I wanted to smell it just on its own. It's really good. Definitely you get the the zucchini bread. Her zucchini bread's good because it's like bakery and a little bit of spice. And that fresh picked strawberry. So this is really good. I think it's similar to other ones I have and like what I've had from other vendors and stuff. But I really like it. It's good. <clears throat> I can never have too much strawberry in my collection. This next one is Sugar Cookie Royale, Toasted Mallow, and Cinnamon Sugar. I saw some people raving about her cinnamon sugar. So I was like, and I think this was like in the Facebook group. So I was like, I just need to get something with some cinnamon sugar in it um, to see how it is. This is good. I definitely get the cinnamon, sweet, like sweet bakery cinnamon. But that Sugar Cookie Royale, that's just like decadent, decadent. It's To me, it smells more like a sugar a really rich sugar cookie batter, um, like an uncooked sugar cookie. More like a rich chocolate chip cookie without the chocolate, like batter, um, that's not baked yet. Okay, vanilla balsam and winter candy apple. So I love winter candy apple from Bath and Body Works. I haven't melted that scent in forever or even burned the candle from Bath and Body Works in forever. So I want to try this. You, I love this. You get a good mix of the vanilla balsam and the winter candy apple. It smells so good. Look how cute that is. I love it. Oh my God, this smells amazing. I need to melt this one and yeah, it smells so good. Okay, if you think you would like these, you guys have to try this blend if you have not. Vanilla balsam, winter candy apple. I, oh, I wanted to show you guys the shapes. I need to melt this. It almost has a little bit, it must be the vanilla balsam. It almost has a little bit of like a nose clearing scent. Like it takes on a little bit of a minty scent, but I don't, there's no mint. It's not, I don't know what it is. It is really good though. I need to melt some more of this and possibly or melt it and possibly request more I don't know see this is the thing is I love it I will melt fall and Christmas scents all the way through winter and in Arkansas northwest Arkansas specifically because south Arkansas tends to stay more humid because it's right above Louisiana and you get that like gulf weather um but then up in northwest Arkansas we're close to Missouri we tend to so we get a mix we tend to our weather will get really cold like we've had down to the 30s now at night which is not crazy but cold I wake up with my grass all icy um <clears throat> and last year we got into like the negatives when we had all that crazy winter weather but so we'll stay pretty cold until like March or April so now I'm looking at the next five to six months of cold weather so I will melt fall and Christmas scents all the way through that time so even if I even if it's not Christmas even though this is very Christmassy scent I will melt this as long as it's cold outside. And this is even a scent that I could see me melting <coughs> in my laundry room. Wait, <coughs> excuse me, sorry. I'm gonna try and ed edit that out. But if I don't know how, please forgive me. Um, okay, so, but this is a scent I could see me melting in like my bathroom or the laundry room, even in like spring or summer. It's just very fresh very beautiful it does have that like the balsam in this is not so distinctly like christmas tree it is it is but it gives more of just an outdoorsy woodsy fresh scent i don't know this fantastic okay next one is bonfire bliss cookie therapy and cookie therapy is santa's on keto pretzel and sugared shortbread 
I normally do not like pretzel scents, um, but at least, so I got a cookie therapy sampler from L3. I don't think I hauled it and I don't pick up her pretzel at all in it or I don't pick up a pretzel note. So maybe I like her pretzel. This is really good. You get the Bonfire Bliss. I love Bonfire Bliss. I haven't had it in a while. It tends to have this like musk type scent, I think. I don't know. It's just this very soft, nice scent. I think this is the one. I wonder if it's this one. This one, I'm also getting that skunky note in. I don't know where it's coming from. Why am I getting a skunky note? But anyhow, there's this is cute. There's like a crab and then a Santa Claus. So it's like, and a seashell. So it's like beachy Christmas. <laughs> Super cute. But anyhow, this is good. We'll see. I'll melt it. I'm I don't think that's my favorite Bonfire Bliss that I've had from vendors. Okay, fresh picked strawberries and peppermint. Uh, sorry, I have to get used to lining this up. So I love fresh picked strawberry and peppermint. Um, her peppermint is super strong. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. I think I'm gonna put this in my custom. If you like strong peppermint, if this is like strong nose clearing peppermint, but with the sweetness of the fresh picked strawberry, it's so good. I don't think it needs it, but you could also add like a vanilla bean Noel um, or like a marshmallow if you wanted to soften it a bit. To me, I think I prefer just that heavy, strong peppermint, but this is really good. This is like, I think my, like one of my favorites. This is one of the vanilla balsam winter candy apple. And this one are like my two favorites in this order. Um, I mean, they're all good. Don't get me wrong. There's like amazing scents in here, but those two are like perfect. Okay. This next one, cookies with the clauses, eggnog. So cookies with the clauses is Santa's on keto, Mrs. Claus cookies and sugar milk. And then it has eggnog in it. Again, some cute shapes. Um, so yeah, get that eggnog. She has a good eggnog. I think... Uh, Jennifer and huh, it's been Jennifer from L3 and Jenny from Rose Girls have the two best eggnogs I've smelled. Um, really, really good. I don't think I've melted an eggnog scent yet from L3. So this, if you like eggnog scents, this is a really good decadent rich bakery eggnog. Cookies with the clauses eggnog. That's very good. Okay, so people rave about banana... I think banana nut bread. I think I saw some people commenting about banana nut bread from L3. This is banana nut bread, cheesecake, and waffle cone. Um, I wasn't sure about the cheesecake with it, but I can't, I wanted to try one of her banana nut breads just to see. So this is the four pack fluted tarts. See, to me it's candy. It, it smells kind of like the candy banana, like Laffy Taffy. I'll melt it, but it's not a favorite. I definitely get the banana and the bready note and the waffle cone. I'm not picking up the cheesecake, so for at least right now I'm cold. So for folks that maybe don't like cheesecake, you can try that out. Okay, one of my other favorite scents from L3 is um, Cupboard Under the Stairs, which I don't have the scent description on this one. Cupboard Under the Stairs is like a sweet strawberry and like a bakery and maybe a frosting or something like that. It's like a strawberry cake or something like that. So this is covered under the stairs, zucchini bread, sugared shortbread. So it's just going to be that extra decadent bakery strawberry. Um, so yeah, definitely get the zucchini bread. When you add zucchini bread to a scent, it definitely is present. And so this, this definitely subdues the strawberry with the zucchini bread and the sugared shortbread. So I would almost want to add some more fresh picked strawberry back to this blend. I wonder if I could do that in my custom. So covered under the stairs, fresh picked strawberry, zucchini bread, I think would be good. Or fresh picked strawberry and sugared shortbread. So it's not overpowered on the bakery. It's really good though. But it's definitely much, much heavier on the bakery. So that is really good. I know I love it. Okay, I got a couple or a few of the two pack bunts. This first one is White Woods and Winter Candy Apple. And it's cute green. Okay, and her bunts are great. Like I 
cut these in four usually and if I have a smaller warmer I may even cut it smaller so I like it but I don't like it as well as the vanilla balsam winter candy apple so definitely get the winter candy apple in here and it's the winter candy apple it's the bath and body works dupe I haven't melted one of those candles in forever I don't even know if they've brought them out lately I, I have not bought bath and body works candles in forever um so I haven't smelled one in a long time so I don't know if it's in a dead on dupe but to me that's what it smells like for sure and the white woods gives this an outdoorsy woodsy smell I like it I will need to melt it I really like it but it's I definitely like the vanilla balsam winter candy apple more but it's still they're both good this one is pumpkin pie eggnog brown sugar pound cake again want to just I, I went crazy getting all this bakery stuff this is good I um the pumpkin pie I think adds a little bit more spice to it the brown sugar pound cake I don't know if it's the pound cake gives it a little bit of a it's it's very sweet I'm gonna melt it and I really like it but it's a it's very heavy sweet but it's really good I think again I prefer the cookies with the closet eggnog um okay the last of the bunk cakes this is blueberry muffin buttermilk flapjacks and glazed donuts so I I don't recall I finished a bag of strawberry flapjacks from candles from the keeping room I don't I've uploaded one of my should you melt this videos I can't remember if it's in that one or it's in the part two the part two I need to upload today um I love it so much like sorry not talking about the scent yet this is really good though but um her strawberry flapjacks is so good and I was like candles from the keep room is hard to buy from I do want to buy more from her but I have so much from her so I was wondering because I am on the custom list for l3 so and she has the same fresh picked strawberry as candles from the keeping room so I was hoping if she had a flapjack scent I could make that so she does so I that's primarily why I got this scent is to try out the flapjacks I think it's the same but there's so much in here the blueberry muffin buttermilk flapjacks and glazed donuts this is heavenly if you like blueberry her blueberry is so good this is blueberry muffin is really good this is like rich it smells like blueberry muffin because I think it's weird like a, a container a pint of blueberries from the store have no scent to me um unless you cook them or something right blueberry muffins that you buy from a store I don't know if most if they add blueberry like flavoring to them but there's always this overabundance of cooked blueberry scent and that's what these smell like it's so good I think the flapjacks and the glazed donut is just giving it a little bit more of a decadent scent but I think in my custom order I'm gonna try the fresh picked strawberry and flapjacks that smells good it's making me hungry it's making me a tummy growl it's morning I haven't eaten yet I don't eat when I get up first thing in the morning I have to be up for a few hours before I eat but right now my tummy's starting to growl okay the last thing is I got three of her basic Betty loaves um this first one is peppermint rosemary mint and vanilla balsam again I just really wanted to get more of her peppermint um I love her rosemary mint and then I love vanilla balsam um, so I thought this would be amazing. Oh, this is so good. Okay, you get all three. You get that strong nose clearing peppermint. You get the sweet rosemary mint. And you get that sweet vanilla balsam. Like, this is amazing. If you like those scents, like, individually, you need to try this. Oh my god, it's so good. It smells like, Chris it smells like Christmas snow. <laughs> It's so pretty. I love it. I love it. I love it. When I first smelled it last night, I was only getting like the peppermint. So that's one thing I've noticed with most wax orders. I think when they're all stuffed in the box and they're shipping, I think they kind of mix together and they need to, you need to open the box and let it air out and let like each of the scents kind of just get back to themselves. I, especially with L3, for some reason, whenever I open all my stuff from her if I open the box and sniff everything right away which I always do I don't really smell the individual scents as well and then once they've sat out for like a day or two then I really start noticing 
This is definitely one of my favorites in this order as well. Like I'm going to melt this. So apparently my camera has a 30 minute stop time on it. So sorry, I don't know where it cut off. This is a scent I will melt year round, even though there is a Christmas tree scent in it. It is so pretty. It's like, oh my God, that is so amazing. Her peppermint and rosemary mint though, I need to do more blends with those two scents. It is fantastic. Okay. The other loaf is um, pumpkin souffle, cinnamon sugar donut, vanilla bean noel, and pie crust. And let's see. So, okay. It, this, okay, that's funny. This smells like pumpkin pecan waffles. It, this blend takes on a very pumpkin pecan waffle note, but it's really good. You definitely, there's spice in it, but it's a really good bakery spice. It's very decadent. Pumpkin souffle, I've had it from other vendors. It's a very decadent pumpkin with a little bit of spice, but then when you add that cinnamon sugar, it just gives it more spice. Um, the cinnamon sugar donut. I don't, I'm not picking up the vanilla bean oil, the pie crust, but they're probably in there just making this sweeter and delicious. This smells more like pumpkin souffle, cinnamon sugar donut. It is so good. Definitely spicy like bakery spicy, so you have to like spice. But it's very decadent, very good. That is really good. Um, that is like the epitome of like fall and Thanksgiving. Like I feel like that's the scent I'll have to melt like on Thanksgiving or something. Okay, very, very last um, one is, this is a scent blend I've had from vendors for years. This is nothing new or unique, but I see people all the time still talking about it. But I think I've had blends like this from back in the day when Tiffany Candles was still around, she would do loaves where you do Christmas tree, sugar cookie, peppermint. Like those three blends, those three scents together are just amazing and every vendor has done them. This one is Fraser Fir, peppermint and sugar cookies. And so I love, I love all of these scents. This is good. You get the peppermint and the Fraser fir. Whether or not any sugar cookie comes out, I don't know. I think maybe a little bit. This is her peppermint is so good though. It is. This is peppermint Christmas, like peppermint tree. <laughs> so peppermint Christmas tree. So that's everything I got. This is me, a little bit of a long video. Um, I know this was a big order. Super, super excited for everything. Um, and you know, I'm definitely, um, I need to get back into doing videos. My hope is to do um, my weekly, like should you melt this videos, my hope. I'm not gonna make promises, but, um, and if I can do that, then if I do it weekly, then I can do not just empties. I can do just everything I'm melting. Um, because as you guys know, it takes a long time to get through things like a gigantic loaf. You know, I won't get through it all right away. Um, so if I can do them weekly, then I can do everything that I've melted, hopefully, um, and not just empties. But thank you guys so much for watching. If you do have any questions or comments, please post them below. If you have any thoughts on any of these scents, definitely let me know if you've tried them. I think all of these are blends that are, at least for L3, new to me with her wax. Some of these blends are very similar or whatever as I've had from other vendors, but really good. Her stuff is strong. Um, hoping it has a good shelf life because I have a lot <laughs> and um, I didn't start buying to her, from her until like December or January, like this January of 2021 or December 2020. I can't remember. Um, but yeah, really excited to melt this all. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you soon. Bye.